So hello and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. You will have seen on our earlier videos on my town scene lots of pavements so we thought it'd be a good idea to show how we make pavements. So first thing we're going to start with which is this which is just mounting board. This comes from a uh, they're off cuts from a picture framers but you can buy it. I've measured out the area I need for this particular bit of pavement it's that simple and all I'm going to do then is cut it out. Always use with the thick card uh, a straight edge and a sharp knife. Uh, you can't cut this sort of card effectively with scissors. Um, there we go. It's gone right through that and that gives you a nice straight knee edge. Now my pavements are two thicknesses thick so once we've got one bit uh, lots of people have different favourite knives. I know a lot of people use scalpels. I've had this standing knife for about 30 years. As long as you put a new blade in it, it's perfectly adequate. So I want to make uh, a second piece the same. You can mark it out, uh, but I'm always a big fan of just using what you've actually got as the template. So I'm just going to glue that, fix it on there, put a bit of pressure on it, and then we'll leave that for a minute while we repair, while we, while we prepare some of the paving, which will allow this just to dry. So what we're going to use is this, which is the super quick paving. You can buy this for about three or four pound a pack and there's about four or five sheets in it. I've never bought any of these new. I've always been able to buy them secondhand, either on eBay, quite often as big job lots or in second-hand shops when I see them, usually for about a pound, two pound a pack. Um, what I do is if I see them cheap, I just buy them, put them in a big drawer. So these make excellent pavings. So what I find I'm gonna do for these, just cut out a stream. I don't fold over the edges, which I know you can do. I'll show you what I do in a moment. And I'm not gonna use the round ends, although I have used it very successfully on my layout. Now, ironically, I always cut paper with scissors because I find unless you've got an absolutely razor sharp blade, it tends to tear the paper. Um, now, obviously, you can just make sure you've got a very sharp blade if you like, but I've got quite a good eye, so I'm quite happy using scissors. And then what that gives us is a little part with the uh, edge paving already in place. So that's firm enough there. What I'm going to do now is just cut around it. Using the raised edge as my guide. And then they are exactly the same. One thing I learned many years ago when I used to make masters for the war games industry in armoured vehicles is very difficult to get two pieces the same. And what that also does is give you a very neat edge. Uh, now what we're going to do with that edge, because that's our paving edge, just a little bit of grey paint, works along there. And I've what I've done here is got as near a colour as I can to the paving, but you could use whatever you like. This is just Humbrol acrylic paint. Now I'm going to do all the edges even though I know that two of them are not going to be on show. So that's that ready to go. Now just quickly while the paint dries, I'm going to prepare a little bit more of this because what I need now is some bits to go over the back that haven't got the coping stones on them. Because my pavement is slightly wider than I need. Just like that and just like that. And you can cover quite big areas with these. You've seen in my market town videos I've done quite a big market square using these so you don't just have to do narrow pavements. So that's my pavement. Relatively simple. Make sure you've got the edges. And this is the uh, screw fix glue that you sure us use in the other video. I then just like to, you could use a bit of cardboard, but I suppose I've never got over primary school and I don't mind getting a bit messy. 
make sure you've got your edges like that which we have you can adjust. you got a little bit of wriggle room with this glue like that there we go gives you quite a nice neat edge there so this is the piece that I cut earlier that is um, narrow and what I'm going to just do is cut it down the middle because I think there's enough there then 35. it's half of 35 mm. 17 and a half yeah. that. about that and then this should give us enough to do this. So nice and simple. This I can glue the cardboard. Obviously you need to just make sure you line up your paving slabs. go so we're just going to trim that off now and there you have paving slab that's simple um, that'll fit under my little cottages nicely got a nice little neat edge that mirrors the top um, little shirt thing I'll just show you a little thing here that you can do if you've got an edge you can just cut yourself a little strip of paving because I'm not sure what's going to happen at these ends so I'm just going to do the ends because I've just remembered I'm not sure how I'm doing those that then goes there trim it and then that will be my pavement finished it's just taken a few minutes hasn't cost me really anything to, at all because let say I bought this pack for about a pound I think there's four sheets in there so that's cost me I've not, not even really used a whole sheet so it's cost me about 20p a bit of mounting board that I don't pay very much for because I get it as off cuts from a picture framers a big bag for four pound and trim that and there you have it pavement nice and easy nice and quick nice and effective um, and looks just like what it's supposed to which is a bit of pavement so as always thank you for watching uh, like comment subscribe and keep watching Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.